Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? The cultivating, uh, not the cultivating, the planting with our International 745S is continuing. Um, I have fed the cows a little bit of uh, food. If we go, no, one more, there we go. Uh, so they've got some silage and hay in them. They are going to need grass fairly soon. Um, I'm still undecided what to do about that. What I think we'll probably do is we'll do the mowing and then we'll get the uh, forage wagon on and gather up a little bit and then the rest of it we're going to harvest. Hang on, let's, um, I'm going to force this one through here and then I will carry on the planting from this side, I think. It's difficult really, but um, anyway, this is working quite nicely, I think, the, um, the International. It looks fantastic. This machine is the one that I have driven. I still haven't been able to find out if it was the 745 or not. Um, I think it was, but it, like I said, I'm, I'm not entirely certain. So I will find out. The other field has, or the other two fields, I finished those as well. I just tidied up the edges with the Zeta, so that corn is all planted and ready to go. So what I thought we would do today is we're going to start our mowing. We've got several fields now that we can cut. Um, and I'm still, I'm, I'm trying to decide, do we do this cut as silage or do we do this cut as hay? And I think we will do it as hay. We've only got one bale of hay left. Um, we've got silage on the trailer. We've got silage that we, we went and bought. Plus we've got six bales that are waiting to be um, wrapped. So we've got the hay there, uh, the silage there. That's not really an issue. So we don't need to worry about that. But on the other hand, um, with not having very much hay, I think that the silage that we've got will last us until we need to do our next silage harvest. I mean, at least I'm hoping it will. If it doesn't, then it doesn't, and we will have to buy a bit more silage. Um, but the hay, on the other hand, if we get a load more of that, we use more hay than we do silage. So I figured that, well, yeah, hopefully the silage will last us, and then the hay, um, if we can get that replaced, we won't need to buy any more bales of that. And we can also then go back and, um, with the silage, we're not going to have to buy very many bales in order just to keep us going a little bit longer. So, yeah, uh, hopefully we'll be okay. We'll start the mowing shortly. My question for this week is next year we will do one of the root crops. We'll either do sugar beet or we will do, um, potatoes. It'll be one or the other. I don't want to do, um, two lots of root crops because root crops are quite heavy in time investment and also you've got to get all the machinery for doing them it's a very specialist type of crop so i thought we will do one or the other we'll do potatoes or sugar beet and we'll do two or three fields of that one um and then we'll uh, that that will sort of be it for um root cropping on this map so which do you want do you want sugar beet or do you want potatoes it's your vote it's your game head in the comment section down below let us know which one you want and why and of course don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner I will leave this tractor to just carry on. It'll do most of it. It's going to leave some odd patches all over the place. We'll probably plant this field with grass next year, I think, because it's quite difficult to keep everything neat and tidy in here. So, yeah, it'll probably be best if we do grass in this one next year. Uh, but for now, this one can carry on. So if we skip up through here, I want to come up this way. Uh, don't need any of those things there. Um... This map has had another update, which has removed all scripts from the map, which I suspect means, because if you remember, we had a screen here showing us what we had in it. Um, and there were probably some other scripts that I didn't really know about. Um, but yeah, all the scripts have been removed, so I suspect that means that Gorali is going to be coming... Gorala, I think it is, um, is going to be coming for consoles. There is one really cool thing, though. If you go over here and you just press the mouse button, it works like the other gates. You lift the flap up like that. And then when you put your grain trader along here, it will, um, you can tip right into there, which is really cool. I really do like that. So let me just close it down again. There we go. Right. And uh, I'm thinking we'll probably return that one soon. The, I've got the Deutz over here with the class mower on the back. And now we've got this front mounted mower, we use this one as well. And let's just put the PTO on. And we're away. So, yeah, what I was thinking is that we will mow this field, even though it's only got um, partial growth stage, because then we can get a load of grass from here, at least to keep the cows going for the next few days. And um, 
after that, I'm not really sure what we're going to do. So let's just start this one. We unfold the front one and start that bad boy up. And then if we move forward a little bit and we can unfold that mower there. I know we're mowing over the track and you wouldn't always do that, but I think we can get away with it this time. So let's go over there and start that one up. And we're away. We're mowing. Right. My plan is we're going to mow all of our fields today. Today is all about mowing, mostly. And once we've done all of the mowing on all of the fields, we're going to need to turn all the hay that we get. Um, so that's going to be the next thing. Now, unfortunately, all of the grass fields are not ploughed. It's just um, direct growth, so we can't seed them either. So one of the things that we'll be doing in the winter is ploughing up some, if not all, of the grass. We won't be able to do all of it, I don't think. I don't think we're going to have time. Or if I do try to do all of it, I'm going to end up having to do a lot of it off camera. Which, as you know, I don't really like doing too much stuff off camera. I feel it kind of um, spoils the game a little bit. Um, having to sort of do that much work. And the problem with ploughing up grassland that is not actual fields is you cannot leave hired help doing it. We can use the GPS to help us along. But uh, other than that, you are stuck using 100% um, doing it yourself. You can't let... Hired help doesn't operate like that, unfortunately. Um, which is going to slow things down a bit. But I think that it is definitely going to be worth trying to do that. Because then next year, we'll be able to rely on the hired help to do a lot more of the jobs. Which, um, like, uh, well, like this mowing, for example... Um, but not only that, for turning and raking and all those other little jobs, I'd really like a lot of the hired help, um, a lot of it to be done with the assistance of the hired help, because what we can do then is we can have several fields being worked at once, whereas the way we've got it at the moment, I've, I have bought the extra grass field, um, we've got this one here, we've got one just over there, and then we've got the... Um, it's, the, it's just the one by the sheep, isn't it? I don't think there are any other grass fields that we own at the moment. We've just got these three. So, um, yeah, if we can have the hired help helping us, we can get more grass fields. Uh, probably we'll end up planting some of the stuff we got. I'm thinking the one right in front of us, if we plant that one with grass, plus plough up the other side, uh, we'll end up with a nice big grass field over there that the hired help will be able to go sailing through without any trouble whatsoever. Um, which would be an excellent way to do things, I think. So that is kind of the long-term plan, but for now, we are going to have to manually mow, manually um, turn or tedder all of the fields that we've got, which means that we are it's going to take a little bit of time. So what I thought is today I will do mowing. Today is going to be a mowing video. So those of you who don't like mowing, I apologise. Um, there's not going to be a lot else happening today, so you, you can all, you're always welcome to come back next week. Tomorrow, obviously, we're doing um, Texas, Northwest Texas, so it's not going to be anywhere near as realistic as what we're doing right here. I've had all kinds of suggestions for little things that we can try on the Texas map, and some of them are absolutely brilliant. I really love them. Um, yeah, technically, you would be picking the mower up at the end of each row when you come um, to do it. So we will start doing that because this is supposed to be realism, isn't it? So um, we will pick the mowers up at the end of each row. And generally the way that I always did it was like this. You just pick the mowers up as you come through. Ooh, if I can pick the mowers up. There we go. And turn round just so that I can... I never used a front-mounted mower. I've ridden in a tractor with someone while they were using it, but I have personally never used a front-mounted mower. That back one's a little bit slow coming down. Um, yeah, I've, I've never done it. So this is, I, I mean, I know how it all, I know how it operates. I know the theory behind it. Um, I've used a back-mounted mower like that um, quite a bit. And I've also used a trailed mower quite a bit. Um, and I've done, I have done quite a lot of mowing in my time. Um, different places, different ways. And it's a job that I've always enjoyed. I have always enjoyed doing mowing. It's just, it's something very satisfying about it. I mean... There's also the constant, like, there's constant fear involved when you're doing mowing. It's kind of like muck spreading. Um, you're not all muck spreading, just some types of muck spreading. You, uh, the ones where the muck spreaders that we use in this game, 
um, with the big beaters that um, stand upright at the back of the, um, the spreader. Using those types, um, there's always a level of fear involved with those, along with doing mowing, because if you hit a stone, the beaters hit a stone, they lob it through your back window. Same with mowing. You hit a stone with a mower, it goes through your back window. There's nothing you can do about it, absolutely nothing. So all the while that you're mowing, I mean, you're hoping that your fields are nice and clean and you don't have a whole load of stones lying around in your field, obviously. Um, but there is, at the back of your mind, there is always that little bit of fear that you're going to hit a stone and it's going to smash your back window. Um, always been there. And, I mean, I don't know about other farmers. I mean, for those of you who are farmers that watch the channel, get into the comment section and let us know. What are your personal experiences with mowing? How do you get on with it? I've, I've always enjoyed it, but like I said, there's always been that level of fear that I'm going to hit a stone and it might come pounding through the back window and then leave me unprotected because you can't stop the mowing just because your back window is gone. So you're then kind of stuck. What do you do? Do you, do you, do you stop? Um, can't really do that. So then you've got to carry on. And you tend to drive kind of a bit more hunched over because you're awfully concerned that a stone is going to come whizzing through the back window and get itself closely acquainted with the back of your head, which you really don't want, do you? Not, not, not really, when you think about it. Um, right, I'll tell you what, if we just move up here a little bit, Helper E has run into problems. So if we just skip over to Helper E a minute, there we go. What are you doing? I mean, really? The help, the, the hired help in this game, sometimes you look at it and you think, what have you been smoking? I mean, really? Is that kind of substance use really something that you want to keep doing while you're working for me? Um, because I'm not sure that it is. Right. Carry that one. He can do that little bit there. Mostly this field is finished, actually. We've got that little, we've got two patches over there that need to be done. Um, they're not going to take much. And then just to tidy up and go around the edge, I think I'll probably do that myself in a little while. Um, yeah, I don't think we need to worry about that. Okay, so he can carry on there. So let me just skip back through to our mower again. Start and start that mower, start that mower, and we're away again. Um, yes, oh, and also on this channel now, we are, obviously we're doing... Um, other games. I started doing other games by doing a video all about um, Farming Simulator, or the XML files anyway, because I had a lot of people asking how do you change XML files? How do you change camera distances? How do you change your capacities on the tanks and things like that? Those are all fairly basic things that I can do. I mean, if I can do them, they're going to be fairly simple. Okay, let's just, just get that out in the open right now. If I, if I can do it, then most users can do it, okay? Um, the more advanced stuff, I can't do. Um, so, yeah, I'm just, yeah. I'm, I'm not a modder. I'm not a, I, don't, I can't do um, programming and code and stuff like that. That is a level of skill that is way beyond anything that I possess. Um, and I've got nothing but admiration for people that are able to do things like that. So, yeah, the, that video is there because there's a lot of people were asking how to make those changes to XML files. And as we continue with Northwest Texas, I will be doing quite a lot of um, different things on those videos that involve changing various different things on the XML files. Because it can produce some very entertaining results. Um, some of the things that you can do when you change your XML, it's only like uh, really simple changes, but it does produce some absolutely fantastic results and some of which um, I'll be doing this week I've had quite a few really you're blocked again we'll go over and sort that one out in a little while um, some of the suggestions I've been getting from people are brilliant there's some really awesome ideas coming in for what we can try on Northwest Texas so we'll be trying a couple of those tomorrow um, my other games that I will be starting. I've, I did, wanted to do the video on the XML file, so I thought, well, I'll do that one first, and then we'll start the games. Um, so I, I know that the the real um, farming simulator fans don't aren't particularly interested in the other games, but some of you are. So for those of you that are at the moment, I'm planning on doing Factorio once a week uh, because I had a, a lot of positive response on the Factorio video that I did and my Mega Factory that I'm sort of. Um, trying to build. I haven't played very much in my own time. I played around with the trains a little bit, so that's kind of going to be a once a week, 30 minutes while we sort of 
try and do a little bit extra to the map each week um, and make a little bit of progress. Sometimes I will advance it further on my own, sometimes I won't. Um, we'll sort of wait and see. Then, once a week, I will do either Forza Horizons or Spin Tires. It'll be one or the other. I'm not going to be doing very many Let's Plays for Euro Truck Simulator because, personally, I, it doesn't go very well with a Let's Play, I don't think. it's Once you've done a little bit, it kind of gets rather dull and you've got to spend a lot of time playing the game while you make the video in order to sort of advance it, you know, to finish delivering the load or something like that. Um, and yeah it, it does take a very long time to do it also takes then a very long time to edit and um unfortunately time is against me for a lot of these things so I'm, I'm not going to be doing very much in the way of euro truck simulator but it will be kind of a sim type game like that um and then once a week i don't know what i'm going to do for my final video for each week and i, I also don't know which day it's going to be yet. i would like it to be a fantasy game now, RPG fantasy type games are my all-time favourite type of games. I play those more than I play any other type of games. I was seriously considering doing a series on Skyrim, starting from scratch. Skyrim's been out for a very long time. Um, so yes, I am seriously considering doing that, but at the same time I'm aware that it's been out for such a long time, so many videos out on it already, so I'm not quite sure yet. I'm, I'm really genuinely undecided at the moment as to what else I'm going to do. Um, the number of... I, I did think that I could go back to doing um, the playthrough for Silver, but that's undoubtedly been the most unpopular video on the channel, so I'm not going to go back to that anytime soon. Maybe at some point in the future. We'll, we'll sort of wait and see on that one. Um, right, that is that field done. I've just got a tiny, tiny little bit there. We can just cut off. There we go. Right. Let's lift those two up. I don't even need to switch the mowers off because our next field is just over there. So we can just lift them up slightly. Whiz over to this next field and get started. And I haven't actually bought that field yet, have I? Right, let's just stop here. Like that. And we need to just nip over to the international once more. And what we'll do is rather than leaving it stuck there... If I come up this way and set it going down through here, it can do this patch. So let me just spin around again. There we go. Hopefully it will do this bit okay without any troubles. Up there. And then we've got to go and buy that field. I honestly thought that I'd already bought that field. I really did. I'm genuinely confused now as to why I don't own that field. H. Right. Let's go through the map and... I do own it. Oh, I think I'm looking at that one over there. Yes, I must be. I must be looking at that bit. So anyway, um, we can go back to this one. Yes, look. See, if you can see that little tiny blue circle over there, I thought that that wasn't this field here in front of us. I thought that was another field. Um, I thought that that was this field in, here in front of us, but it's not. It's another field, is what I should say. Right, and if we come in here, we can start both of these bad boys up. And there, there. And then control V should lower them both down. And we are away. Right. I might remove some of these trees along this road in the winter. I'm trying to have a look around to see if there are any suitable mods that we could use for chopping out a load of trees. Because just chopping a tree down, then using the chainsaw and dragging them. I mean, we could use the winch and drag a few logs around. Um, we do have the sawmill that we can get them to, but I want something that can load a bit easier. And the auto load log trailers generally only work for um, pine trees, not for deciduous trees like these. And to me, that's a bit of a problem. I don't want to be chopping up, um, I don't want to just do the pine trees over in the forestry areas. So I want to find a way to get rid of these trees. Now, the wood chippers are okay, we can sort of use those. Um, because you don't need to use a crane for those. Um, you can use a, um, a log fork on one of the front grabs. Uh, it doesn't matter which front grab we use. And there are log forks that you've got the, the straps on as well, which uh, they're not ultra realistic, but they're realistic enough, I think, that we can use for this series. Um, 
and that way we could do a massive great big pile of wood chips because I mean if we're chopping up the trees all the way around this field I mean we could even do all of the trees around this field um, it wouldn't be anywhere near unrealistic to stick the wood chips in a great big heap in the middle of the field that would be that would be quite realistic um, it would yeah it would definitely be realistic so I think that we could get away with that just drop Oop. what's going on now oh I see he was a bit slow lifting, and then I was a bit quick putting him back down again. Um, we'll come up through here. Uh, another game that someone told me about was um, Car Mechanic Simulator. Now, I've seen uh, Squirrel Gaming playing uh, playing that a couple of times, and I've got to be honest, it looked really cool. I really like the look of that game. And someone told me in the comments section only a couple of days ago that I uh, want to know if I'm planning on playing Car Mechanic simulator 18 which is coming out soon i don't know when it's coming out but you know when it does come out am i planning to play it? i wasn't aware that it was coming out and i got to admit i was very pleased to find out that um there was a new version of the game coming out because i think that could be a lot of fun it looked like a lot of fun to play the in the um the first version of it so yes i would like to play car mechanic simulator 18 i think that would be great fun to do um and I also quite like the look of anything with the VR sets, but unfortunately I can't afford a VR set at the moment, so <laughs> well, that is just going to kind of have to wait. Um, we, we'll do that another time. Now, how we do? I reckon that we will finish this field before we have to go, and hopefully we'll get well and truly stuck into our last field, because we've only got these three fields, haven't we? Is this one here, the one that we've just cut, plus the one over by the sheep and I don't think we've got any other grass anywhere so this is going to give us a good indication of whether or not we're going to have enough um, well enough of anything to last us for the winter because we were going to hopefully do silage with the grass um, possibly do some silage whole crop as well but we may end up having to um, do a second lot of hay in the grass fields and um, just have whole crop in uh, just uh, silage will just have to be whole crop we'll have to hire in a forager or of some kind to do the whole crop I mean we could do maize silage it wasn't what I originally hoped to do I was hoping to do grass silage but if we can't do it we can't do it There's, sometimes you, we just don't we literally just don't have um, the ability to do that and we need to make sure that we've got both hay and silage ready for the winter um, so yeah, and next year it's going to be a bit different because we'll have this field and that field and we're going to plough them. That's actually, we're only going to have three fields, so I think ploughing them is going to be fairly easy. It's, it, it's not going to be too difficult to plough them all up, um, especially joining these two fields in. And also, once we ploughed them, obviously we can then fertilise the fields and increase the yield of grass that we get from the fields. Another big bonus. So it's definitely we are definitely going to have to do the whole ploughing thing. Um, get a load well so we'll get loads more grass next year so yeah unfortunately looking at what we've gotten so far I reckon that we are going to end up having to do a second round of hay on these fields which means that our silage this year is just going to be whole crop so if you've any idea of some decent mods that we can use for doing whole crop silage let me know i know that we can use the rossel mash um forager it's a small forager it does have a whole cropping header and it would work really well and let me just show you that one if we go into here oh, no not that one i want to go here don't i and if we go to forage harvesters we've got this rossel mash harvester here that one there only does maize so this one will do whole cropping um that one only picks up what's on the ground and you can't windrow green crops i don't want to use that it's too big i think for this whole map um that one there again it only does um the whole crop um silage uh maize silage that one that one oh that one does grass but it's saying maize can we use that one for whole cropping i don't know and then this one here this is a um it puts a, a mower header on it this one again is just for May, oh, can we use the Kemper header for doing whole crop silage? I genuinely don't know about that. Look on the forage harvester headers. So you've got that one which will pick up grass or hay, but when the hay goes through it turns it into silage anyway. This one 
um, it does the standard crops and then you got that one again that does the standard crops and th those are all for standard crops this here only does maize so it doesn't take the standard crops now I've used those types of headers I haven't used it personally I've worked with those types of headers um, doing the standard crops so to me um, that's not entirely accurate these can be used for doing whole cropping as well as uh, other cropping that there uh, wheat and barley is that straw? I don't know what that one is. I'm wondering if that one you can um, cut whole crop with it as you go along. That one there is just that. And then you got that. That one there. That's just for cutting grass. That um, cuts and windrows grass. It's five meters wide. That's not too bad, actually. Uh, and then you got these over here. That does. That's whole cropping. That one. That one does all of them. So we could use that Kemper header there. I mean, that's a very big header. We used that one in at the end of uh, Goldcrest Valley. So, yeah, I will obviously experiment a little bit. I would like to try to find a header that we can put onto a small harvester. I would like, ideally, to have one of the trailed harvesters um, being able to cut um, and silage the whole crop. Now... If I've got this right, you can cut whole crop before it's fully ripe. You can cut it in, like, the final stage of growth. Is that right? Is, is, have I got that right or not? Um, with seasons, it the visual goes to a ripe crop, but it's not actually ready to cut. If you look on the map, it's still on the green setting. So that, would, to me, would be the ideal time to cut it for whole cropping rather than doing it before then. Um, so maybe that's something that we can look into doing. I'm not quite sure yet. We'll, we'll sort of wait and see. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, we are going to be doing um, hay. So in our next episode, which is going to be next week now, what we'll be doing is turning all of this grass that we've cut and just stop there. I can stop you and fold you and then go to the back one, stop you and fold you up as well. We can take this off down to the next field. We are just about out of time. So I will make a start on the next field and then I will finish it before next episode. Um, my question for this week is which crop would you like me to do? Which root crop would you like me to do next year? Would you like me to do potatoes or would you like me to do sugar beet? I don't want to do both root crops because root crops are quite a heavy time investment. So I think we'll just do one lot of root crop. Um, and we'll do two or three fields of it. I'm not quite sure which fields or where we'll do it and, or so on, but um, we'll get to that. But do you want to see me doing potatoes or do you want to see me doing sugar beet? It's your vote. It's your game. Head into the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner. So let's just go on up here and all of our corn is planted our maize is all planted over here in these fields and this is the other field that we own so if i unfold the rear mower unfold that one that one can start up and we can move into the field a little bit then this back mower we can start that one up as well and we're away so i will do a round this field's actually i think a little bit bigger than the other fields i'm not quite sure actually I don't think we'll come out here and remove these trees. I think these could stay here. I don't think they're going to be interfering with anything. Um, oh, hang on. No, we own field 30 as well. We went and bought another one. So we come down around here. We've got that field there that's next to the track. I went and bought two of them, didn't I? So we'll mow this field here on this side of the track, and I will get the other one mown as well. That's all of them. That there, and then that is all of the fields. So we've got two more fields to cut. I honestly didn't realise that I had that extra field. I completely forgot about that. It, no, it was this one here that we bought extra, wasn't it? I can't remember now. Completely forgotten now. Right, anyway, that doesn't really matter. If you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.